hey, don't forget to subscribe to Mums at the Table. I'm sitting here with Rach. We're going to be talking about how tech execs raise their kids when it comes to technology. Interesting, because they create all the, you know, Google, yeah. Facebook, Instagram. So how do they allow their kids to get on technology, I it's guess is my question. It's interesting, because you'd think they'd be creating these little super babies, yeah. right? Yeah, because are it's like... all about making our life easy. Exactly, and they're like coding from the time they're six months old. But this is not the case. Um, what would you think if I told you there is actually a technology divide between, I don't want to say the wealthy and the poor, because that's so black and white, but I'd say probably people who are more educated or professional and people who are not. What would you think that technology divide were? I would want to know more. Mm. So tell me more. That's a pretty smart way to get out of it, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, they're saying that, you know, tech execs and people who, you know, have a bit more understanding of what's happening behind the scenes are exposing their kids less to technology, especially in those early ages, than people who don't have maybe as much knowledge about what's happening behind the scenes. Right. So there's this tech divide, and it's not actually one of, you know, we have access to all of this money, therefore we're giving our kids more. They're actually giving their kids less. Yeah, I know. I read this article where I think it was Steve Jobs and Bill Gates they actually didn't give their kids phones till they were 14? Yep, that's correct. And um, when they did give them, there were flip phones. And the reason being is that they've understood that there's this thing called persuasive design right. that's been um, put into all of the technology that we have. And it's not just that, you know, the design is there to be useful to us, but mm. it's actually there to be addictive, to help us um, to want to crave it more and more. That's and so true. Ex that's so true, because I know when I first found out about Facebook mm -hmm. as a, as a stay-at-home mum, when I became a mum, I was on that phone all the time. The, the phone dropped on the baby and all sorts of things. So <laughs> I know that it can be addictive. Yeah. So what is it doing to our kids? I mean, even more so because they're still developing and it's lighting up all of these um, sensors within their brain and yeah. it's just um, making them crave it more and more. And we're seeing these dopamine responses where it's making the kids, it's giving them this pleasure. It's hitting their pleasure centers in their brain and it's making them crave the technology more and more. So for wow. these reasons, because they know what's happening behind the scenes, they're not giving their kids access to that technology. That's crazy. And you, I guess it's, it's, it makes me think, like, what else are they masterminding behind, <laughs> you know, creating these these um, apps for us, I guess? It, it does sound a bit sinister, I, I guess, when you think about it. But we can even see within, like, nanny contracts, they're telling the nannies that they are not allowed to expose Who, these the kids. tech experts? Yes, they're not allowed to expose the kids to TV or to phones. And I think if you think about nannies, some of them might want to be checking their phones. So they're making sure that that's not happening. Right. And, um, and what about the school that they send these kids to? Yeah, many of them go into Montessori's or to Waldorf or places that are, you know, low tech and more involved in um, real life experiences for the kids. Yeah. And I think if we understand these things, if we understand that um, we can just have control of our parental experience yes. and using technology as a tool and not just um, having it as, you know, a babysitter because something's happening. You see happening. that all the time. You see that, you know, mm. the, the parents giving their kids, you know, technology, iPads and all that, just go, fit, you know, fend for themselves. But I guess we've got to be more cautious and more mindful yeah. of um, the creators are actually limiting their own kids. So how should we this. be treating our kids? Yeah, so it makes you think. Thank yeah. you so much, Rachel. What a great insight there.